excuse us. Excuse us. Hi, it's Tuesday, and you're watching Tasty Tuesday. The show is Tuesday, and I try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. So we're doing vegan meals for the month of March, and I asked you guys what you'd like to see me try out, and one of you requested cauliflower steaks, and a bunch of other reviews bummed it up. Originally I was gonna do an Easter dish, but in the spirit of Good Friday, which is also coming up this Friday, there's a tradition on Good Friday to not eat meat, so a cauliflower steak would be perfect for Good Friday. The recipe seems pretty easy. Do you think you can handle it, sous chef? I think we're gonna be able to do it. I mean, knock on wood. Never know what's gonna happen on Tasty Tuesday. It's a bit of a shit show. Let's make this dish. Step one, preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Already did it. I'm learning. Step two, we're gonna prepare a baking pan. Oh, wow, you're not clean, and I don't care. We're gonna prepare a baking pan with parchment paper. Then it says to take one large cauliflower head and split it lengthwise into four steaks. I got two because I was very insecure about my cutting skills, and my only experience with cauliflower is it crumbling to pieces. Also, they didn't have white cauliflower at my grocery store, so we got orange. No, it's not old or moldy, it is just orange cauliflower. Stop being racist. Cut them into steaks, it says. Cut them into steaks. Like you're supposed to know what that means. I'm gonna guess we cut this green part off first. Oh, already crumbling to pieces. Good start. I got two big chunks from one cauliflower head without it crumbling to a bazillion pieces. Knock on wood, knock on wood. Um, wood. I think this is fake wood. That explains a lot. I like my steak thick, so I'm just gonna chop two more steaks from the other cauliflower head instead of trying to get four out of these. Oh, I got three out of this one. Oh, okay, this one crumbled. I got two out of this one. Don't press your luck with cauliflower. We're gonna take our cauliflower steaks and put them onto our baking sheet. I'm just gonna put the mistakes on there too, cause why not? Mistakes? Shut up. Okay, now we're gonna put these things in a bowl. One fourth cup of olive oil. Do it. Oh my God, I just barely have one fourth a cup of olive oil. Oh, meant to be. One tablespoon fresh lemon juice, or about half a lemon. Two garlic cloves, minced. I'm putting in three, don't tell anybody. A pinch of red chili pepper flakes. How much that is to you? I guess if you like spicy food, you could add more. I don't. A pinch, I'm not wearing green. Salt and pepper to taste. I honestly don't know how much to put in here because I'm not gonna taste this. How would I even, like with a spoon or what, like how would I even taste that? I'm not tasting it. Yeah, sure. A lot of pepper for steaks. Whisk everything that we just put in that bowl. Okay, it kind of looks like a dirty egg. We're gonna brush half of this mixture onto the steaks, the top of the steaks. You use one of these things. They're a pain in the dick to clean, but they're really easy to put oil on things with. Oh, they're crumbling, no. Okay, done. Now we're gonna roast the cauliflower steaks in the oven for 15 minutes. I'm also gonna roast these potatoes, which I quartered and put sea salt, olive oil, and a little bit of oregano on. Look who's getting intuitive in the kitchen. Uh oh, get at me world. Can't have steak without potatoes. While that's happening, I thought I'd take this opportunity to try out my vegetable spiralizer. I think some places call it vegetti maker, but that sounds too sexual for me to say. So I'll just say it in passing. I bought this like a year ago, fully planned to use it and never opened it. Today's the day. We are going to spiralize some zucchini noodles and cook them up and have them as a side. Cause I just don't think cauliflower is a meaty enough dish for a, a main course. I'm not a hater cauliflower. I just don't think you're ready to be prime time. Basically, I think you just take your zucchini and chop off the ends. Then this part goes into this part and that's how zucchini noodle babies are made. Oh, do it over a cutting board. This is fun. Oh, this is so cool. God, I'm so easily impressed and amused. Okay, once it starts getting like too small for you to turn with your hands, you put this thing in there really meanly and then you just turn it like a knob. Neat, it's working. Oh, oh, what's happening? Be better. You're doing so good. I'm just gonna kind of wing this part too because I'm taking so many risks in the kitchen today. Taking a lot of risks. I'm gonna heat up a little bit of Earth Balance buttery spread, and I'm gonna put some garlic in there and just hope for the best. I like butter, I like garlic. Nothing can go wrong. Medium, high heat. I feel like that's what a lot of recipes tell me to do. Okay, and I'm gonna add my zucchini noodles. Oh my God, this is so long. I'm gonna add it to the pan. I don't really know how long to cook these for. I'm just gonna feel it out. I'm gonna guess like five minutes. 
I guess you could add salt and pepper while it's cooking, right? I don't really know the right time to do this stuff. Doing it. Okay, just FYI, you might want to spiralize like two zucchinis. It looked like a lot of zucchini noodles before we put it in the pan. Shrinkage occurs in zucchini noodles, so plan ahead for that. Okay, I'm gonna say these look pretty done. I'm gonna turn off the heat. I'm gonna add some of these red pepper chili flakes. Just to spice it up. That's what's on the counter, so, you know, maybe it just goes together. I'm also gonna add some of this nutritional yeast because I saw somebody do it. Here gives it kind of like a creamy, cheesy flavor. I'm gonna try it, why not? Okay, this made a very small portion of zucchini. I feel like definitely put more than one zucchini in here. We'll see if that tastes good. All right, my timer's beeping at me. That means that it's been 15 minutes. I'm gonna take the steaks out. You. Do with your brother. They smell really good. Okay, we're gonna flip them over. Careful not to make them crumble. Damn it, what did I just say? What did I just say? Gotta walk away and I crumble. You are not Macy Gray. Okay, like half of my cauliflower's crumbled, but that means half of them are doing great. I'll take it. So we're gonna brush the rest of our oil mixture on this side of the cauliflower. I'm also gonna stir our potatoes a little bit because I feel like we should. Right? I don't know, I have no recipe on this one. Sure, sure, I know what I'm doing, sure. 80% of life is just bullshitting people to believe you know what you're doing. You're welcome for the good tip. And you can trust me, because I know what I'm doing. Stop making noises. All right, back in the oven with you. Now we're gonna let both of those things roast for another 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm gonna do 20 just to be safe. I like my steaks well done. Cool, now clean your shit, you're good to go. It's been 20 minutes, our food is done, hopefully, hopefully. Hopefully, don't wanna to speak too soon. It looks done, as done as a cauliflower steak could be from my zero experience making cauliflower steaks. Totally done. And tapas, feeling good. I feel very confident about this. Okay, so I guess I'll put one steak per person on a plate. Hmm, yes you are steak. Say enough affirmations and you will be steak. And then we'll spoon some potatoes. And then our zucchini noodles. And there we go, we got a steak that's fit for Good Friday. No meat involved. I mean, it's basically a bunch of vegetables on a plate pretending to be other things. We'll see if it's tasty. I'm noodles and I'm steak. I, I'm just gonna stay potatoes. They'll never know. All right. This is absurd. Happy Good Friday. It's steak and potatoes, yeah. Yeah, totally. <laughs> You've taken it too far, vegans. Just don't call it steak, man. I don't know if it's like, cause it tastes like steak or cause the cut <laughs> is like steak. Cause it's flat like steak, like what the hell? I don't taste like steak either. <laughs> does it taste good though? No, yeah. I mean, it's not satisfying. But does it taste good? Sure, yeah, it's like, <laughs> it tastes like a side. Oh, interesting. I'm not a big zucchini guy, but I get it, it's like, it could be good with sauce or something. Oh man, I wish you liked zucchini. It's so good to me. Like honestly, this this is the best zucchini I've ever tasted. It's good for what it is, but it has too much zucchini for me. I mean, to me it doesn't taste like zucchini chunks. It's like... It tastes better than standard zucchini. Yeah, it's got like a flavor. Great, great review from Steve Green. Lover of nothing on this plate. I think the zucchini is really tasty. The cauliflower steaks don't taste like steaks. They do taste like a side, but that being said, as a side, they're they're really tasty. Just call Just, it like roasted cauliflower. You could do that, or you could try to trick people. Call it steak. I think it's tasty. I, as a meal, I would give it a, what, six out of 10? Yeah, sure. I just feel a little let down by the title. It's like making onion pizza. And it's like, well, there's no bread. You're just having a flat <laughs> onion and you're putting cheese on it. And it just doesn't taste like pizza. All right, that was Tasty Tuesday. You can try it for yourself and see if you think it's tasty. But uh, we think it's a six out of 10. Tasty yep. Tuesday. See you later, bye. I'm doing this project next week in which I am naked. Yep, you heard me right. I'll be, I will be naked.